Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna go through the editing of this uh, picture that I have uh, with Trinity. Uh, the shoot from the Capitol Park, Sacramento. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna edit this uh, picture. So let me go to the Visco. So the, this is the original picture directly from the X-T2 and directly from X-T2 untouched and you will see that um, it has a nice color tone base already so I won't do a lot of uh, uh, color touch because the X-T2 Fujifilm uh, classic chrome I use classic chrome simulation mode uh, any Fujifilm X camera, they should have the classic chrome, I think. If not, um, maybe some, uh, most of the medium to high level one, they have the classic chrome. So I, I really like the classic chrome. Uh, it has a nice uh, tone in it for the color base. And I will use the, for this one, I don't use the E5. E5 is too, um, red in this one because this one has the uh, the tree in the back like the cutters plan I will use E6 so just remember E6 E5 has more brown tone E6 has more green tone so based on your location change whatever uh, your filter based on your location I won't do too much because too much it seems um, not natural too little it's still the original original is still good but, but i like to add a little bit of tone in it so maybe around seven something for me you can just uh, adjust uh, on your picture as you like also now after i change the tone i usually add some sharpness to it also i can see the on the face area is still too bright uh, the highlight safe need to be reduce so the highlight safe i can just exaggerate it so if it's extreme it has a flat it become very flat so probably around three or three or four um and i will reduce the a little bit of exposure maybe two because um i still want to uh, give the moody feel because it's too bright it cannot be moody you have to do uh like maybe 1.8 for now and basically this image uh composition when i was uh, if you see, have seen my previous video i already composed her to the top one third but for instagram i have to crop four by five so that's uh what i was talking about in the videos uh previously in the live video when i'm uh when I'm crop, when I'm cropping in camera, when I'm shooting, always in my mind, uh, leave some room from the top and bottom for Instagram. If you are heavy Instagram user, but if you are professional user, uh, that's fine too. Uh, for me, I usually have, like train my mind, train my mind that. Uh, I al al always leave some room to the top for the Instagram. As you can see, the Instagram uh, vertical height it has still ha ha it has cropped a lot of room. So when you're shooting, just to be sure, like conscious consciously adding some frame room, like space to the model, so that you can crop easy later on. So basically the head is already in the center of this pose. I don't need to crop too much. I just need to crop a little bit. And then I will leave the flower in the back. And then that should, that's it. Um, I didn't do too much on this picture. I don't use the temperature because of the temperature already warm. It's too cold, it's not good. So I just set it back to here. And yeah, the highlight, the exposure maybe reduce even more, so it's even moodier. And uh, <clears throat> contrast, maybe add a little bit, just 0 0.6. So everything in here is just subtle because 
in the original picture it's like this and then subtle tone you can see the difference I mean the original picture I already like the tone from the classic chrome but just reduce the highlight so that it's not too bright uh, and it won't like if it's too bright it won't create that feeling of the moody moodiness feel I don't know if there's a word moodiness but for the moody feeling you have to have to reduce the uh, highlight and the exposure highlight safe uh, so that's it for today's uh, quick editing tutorial stay tuned for more behind the scene video and keep track of my instagram account to have more uh, picture coming up thank you so much bye